Welcome back everyone. If you're preparing for your driving test in Newcastle and Lyme, this is the video for you. You're gonna love it, I'm so excited. But we're going to do it slightly differently. I'm not just going to do a driving test route with you today. I'm going to do a section of driving test route which covers three or four of the driving tests. It's the toughest, it's one of the toughest parts of each of those driving test routes and it's the same for each of them as well. So it makes far more sense for you to cover this bit instead of me going through the whole boring section of all of it that you can do anyway. Now again, as I say, for this video, I'm expecting that you can already drive. You know, you're almost test standard. You're just trying to build an idea of the area, of the tougher areas. So I'm not gonna go over any basics, mirrors, signal, etc. If you love this camera on my head, please say so in the comments. Um, you know, and if you see me about, by the way, don't forget to wave. Now this video has taken me, again, four or five hours minimum. So please show your love. Show me that it's worth doing by popping a like down. Um, and yeah, share it with anyone else who's doing their driving test. So we are leaving from the test centre direction now. We're heading to Sunken Roundabout in the middle of Newcastle. Um, this, today's video is actually going to be about the Wall Stanton area, okay? There's a few test routes that they've started using around there and it's quite a tough section. I've had a few people fail. Um, that even people that I've taken before, they've still managed to, to make a hiccup with it. So I'm... Uh, if you hear this cowbell at any point in the video, this is a warning that this is a particular danger zone. So this is somewhere that you really need to focus because people fail here a lot. I'm, um, I'm going to show you um, the areas that people tend to fail at and how to avoid doing that. Because you want to pass. You want to pass first time. You're a first time passer. Or a second or third. It's okay. Okay, so we're approaching Sunken Roundabout. Now, I did have someone fail here just two, three days ago. Just pressure, just pressure. Sometimes pressure gets to us and that's okay. Um, we just gotta manage ways. Look at some of my other videos if you are feeling the anxiety. It's a great course you can go on that's in one of my videos as well, which really helps. So yeah, we're going fourth exit anyway, so let's focus. One exit, two exits, three exits. The next one is the fourth exit. Now, when it's safe to do so, you should be moving across to the left lane here, but you've gotta make sure it's clear first person I had failed the other day failed because it wasn't clear there was a car that came up quick which is fine come off in the right lane you've got two lanes um, you don't have to come off in the left it's just better as I say you won't get marked down if you come off in the right lane as long as you move back across to the left lane when it's safe to do so if you sit in the overtaking lane because that's what it is then you're gonna have a bad day in this sort of area if you know that you're turning right at the roundabout however don't worry about it sit in there that's fine it's not you're not overtaking, you're getting ready to turn right. For this particular route, we're not overtaking and we're not turning right. We're following the road ahead, third exit. Now the sat-nav will count it as second exit, but you need to ignore the sat-nav. You know better because you've watched this video. Shows on the sign just there. Because it's not a drive-through way, um, it doesn't count it. But if you signal um, or anything like that, you're gonna confuse the hell out of people and someone's pulling out, it's gonna be a bad day. So we're approaching the roundabout. This is a funny little roundabout. Um, you've got to really focus on staying around the outside. It almost looks like you're taking the second exit, but you're not. At the last minute, you turn around the outside because you do not want to evade their lane. That bad. We don't go in the taxi lane. I say taxi lane because it's a taxi. So we're looking, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Okay, it's clear. We can see the bus there. We're coming around the outside. We're just taking it gently because we don't want them to pull out. And we're signaling and it's clear to go. So we are off. Off -ski. Um, I'm doing this in a Golf, by the way, uh, diesel, TDI, um, manual 1.6. It's got an automatic handbrake. It doesn't really matter, it's exactly the same. Anyway, we're driving now down uh, this road by um, the Brampton. 30 mile, apart, 30 mile per hour road, street lights, that's all you've got to remember. Okay, it's fine driving in these spaces, there's no cars there. I mean, to be honest, you're going to have to. Okay, there's quite a tough section coming up. There's a roundabout. We're going, you're going to be able to turn left at the roundabout first exit, highly likely. After that, there's a single carriageway road with two more single carriageway roads on either side. Unfortunately, if there's no cars there, I've had numerous students turn left and immediately after, you're gonna be asked to turn right by the examiner. Well, they see that road as a dual carriageway because there's so many roads there. And then they just move across into the right lane with oncoming traffic and the examiner nearly poos himself. Don't do that, that's bad. 
entertaining, but bad. So wait for it to be clear. Yes, he's sitting there. Thank you, my friend. So here we go. So you've got a road here, then you've got another single carriageway road, then another road there. And you're gonna be asked to turn right just here. Don't go into the right lane. I, I know you might not believe it now, but the amount of people I've seen do it, it, it just must look like that. So we approach nice and gently. We turn gently down the road. As I say, this route is on at least three different test routes, okay? Out of 15 test routes, it's well worth knowing. You're gonna be asked to pull over once or twice around here, blah, blah, blah. Just don't pull up in front of any driveways. Check your mirrors going around cars. Take your time, I'm doing 24 miles an hour. Um, you don't need to rush. It's, you've got houses, you've got cars parked. It's not a, it is a 30 road, but you don't need to be trying to do 30. Um, safety first. Okay, again, I'm, I'm moving out early here. Remember that, move out early so there's no surprises. If you can see, it's easier. You can come back in if you need to, but if you move out late and there is something there, then you're having a bad day, right? I'm just easy enough to let this person through. We just keep going down here. If there's cars parked both sides, go in the middle of the road. No one else can get past anyway. I mean, if someone else can get past, then don't. But if space is limited, no one else can. There's no point hugging the parked car on your side. Okay, end of the road, you're always going to be asked to turn right here. Never left, always right at the moment. It might make you left now, I've said that, hopefully not. Okay, you've got bumps here. Big question from people, how far should you go over bumps? Depends how big the bump is. If you go over too fast and you hear the car creak or you think that wasn't comfortable, slow down. If you go over and you think, oh, that was fine, you can go over a bit quicker. Just think, why have they put the bumps there? Because they want you to go slower. Well, there you go, slow down. Now look at this, this is a big baby. Oh yeah, Ooh. my car does not like bumps. It's not a bump friendly zone. Okay, very confusing part here. It doesn't matter, okay? This is directionally confusing. Um, they're gonna ask you to turn left, but it's a left before the end of the road. So after these parked cars, it's a left just here. And that's, people sometimes miss that and they want to go to the end of the road. Um, don't, basically, just don't. Follow it round, see how slow I'm going, 13 miles an hour. There's another learning that could be on the driving test. Um, yeah, again, you'll be asked to pull over possibly here. They're doing a parallel park. So we're just going to ease off there. We've given them plenty of space. I may even back up just a little bit, just because they've got lots of space, but you know, they're learning to drive. Can you ever have too much space? See how I'm looking behind me, guys? See, see that? That's what you have to do. When you're reversing, always look behind you. Okay, so we're continuing down this road. We've got parked cars on the left. Nothing else is gonna be able to squeeze past, so there's no point me hugging the car so tight the examiner's gonna poo themselves. That's not gonna be comfortable for anyone. So just stay over here. You can see if something's coming. If there is, it's their priority to move across. Give way sign, crossroads. You're going to be asked to go straight on at the crossroads, always straight on the crossroads here. Slowing down, nice and pleasant. We can see nice and early on this right side, so that's why I'm focusing over here. There is a car coming, now I'm glancing left. Clear, 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 clear. And we go, no signal, no nothing, it's a crossroads. Again, moving out, there's parked cars. Get over this side, you can see more, you can see more around the corner. Trees, trees everywhere. Okay, we're coming to another crossroads. You're going to be asked to turn right. It gets a bit gritty here, a bit nitty gritty. Um, you can see, even trying to get back on my side of the road tight, take it slow, I'm going nine miles an hour. Try your best to get back on your side. You can only do your best. As long as you're going slow, you'll be fine. Good luck around, because I can't see Jack with that there. So I'm just poking my head out. You move your head, actually move. You've got a body, move. You know, you don't have to sit back in your seat like this. Use what you've got. This, it just gets grimmer, okay? We've got to turn left here. This is tough. There's always a car parked right on the corner here. You've got to do your best. I'm going 11 miles an hour, I'm going to slow down more, eight, seven, six. Um, just got to do your best, nice and slow. And there's park cars, you see these park cars here? You've got to turn left there, you can't see a thing. Okay, so we've got this one here, so we're going to wait for this, and then you've just got to creep and peep. This is where that comes in. Okay, we're still going to wait again. You see how I'm creeping out? Can't be helped, that's what I've got to do. And I keep creeping and I keep peeping, and I've got to keep creeping now, 
And if there was a car coming, I would stop there. You just stop there. There's nothing else you can do if there's not space. If there was space and there's someone for them to pull in, they should pull in. Okay, again, now I'm keeping a door's width from these parked cars, 18 miles an hour. I'm gonna be asked to turn right here. See the parked car in the corner right there? Always a parked car there. You still need to turn onto your side of the road. Don't cut the corner. When it's safe to do so, turn. And then if the road's clear, come back onto the other side of the road. Don't just cut the corner. Okay, sometimes you'll be asked to pull over on the left here. Sometimes you'll be asked to pull over on the right here. You might even be asked to do an emergency stop here. It's a nice little quiet road for just for that. So make sure you're checking blind spots and stuff, you'll be sound. This is where the road converge, no, diverge, di oh, I can't remember. Anyway, two test routes go different ways here, okay? You're either going left and you're doing the two ugly roundabouts, Basford and Port Hill, um, but I'm gonna cover those in another video, okay? For this particular video, I'm gonna do the other route, because it's a new route, um, and that's when we turn right instead. Again, can't see Jack with that post there. So we're just edging forward and we're gonna edge too much with these guys there. There's no rush. Remember, there's no rush. You've got 40, he's turning. Now I'm poking. It's clear. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going. See, nearly missed that. I was too busy looking at you. I really hope you've liked this video. Really hope. I'll be disappointed. If you have any questions or anything at all, please let me know. And if you see me about, make sure you give me a wave, you know? The Queen's wave. Can I say that? I don't know. Give me a wave anyway. Okay, so we're heading back through the centre of Wallstanton now, Kebabland. That used to be my go-to when I lived here back in the day. If you are getting tired of spending thousands of pounds on driving lessons, let me do the work for you. You're in the right place. I've spent hundreds of hours creating this online driving course using my background as both a teacher and an expert driving instructor. The beauty of this is you can learn at your own pace and from the comfort of your own home. Plus, bonus, you're gonna save lots of money on fuel. So don't wait any longer. Have a look, sign up now, and start your journey to becoming a safer and more confident driver. And that's it, boys and girls, ladies and gents. That is all you need to know about Wall Stanton area. Um, if you practice that, make sure you can do it on your own without any help, without anything going wrong, you'll be absolutely fine. That is the exact section you need.